Well, thanks guys for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to click the bell so you'll get notifications for the follow-up videos and uh, give me a like and share with a friend. Thank you so much. Let's get started. Well guys, hi. It is hot. It is 100 degrees here in Texas and I'm not covered in sweat yet, but it's just a matter of time. So anyway, thought I'd show you what a beautiful day it is outside. Uh, got the doors open, got the fans on, you can hear the fans, see the fans, holy cow. Let's take a quick look around the shop here. How do I do that? Okay, right? Okay, here we go. Just taking a cute little gander around my beautiful, lovely shop that God gave me to make glass with and stuff like it. What a blessing. So anyway, uh, here we are doing the 360 and then, oh, spiral staircase. I love the spiral staircase. I walk up and down it even when I don't need to get anything from up there. I just, I like spiral staircases. And if you fall down one, you get dizzy. So anyway, here we go. We are going to do some more spin art. And uh, 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 a friend of mine in the glass business did me a, a, a nice little favor. I'm not going to mention his name here because I don't know if it'd get him in trouble or anything, but he made me some glass and so we're going to paint it do you, using the uh, uh, lap wheel as a spinning platform. So anyway, we did that recently. We're fixing to do some more and so uh, uh, my original idea is to do, uh, do a white spin with a black background and a black spin with a white background. We'll put a little red in there or something, but just as a contrasting type thing, I thought that would be pretty neat. So that's what we're going to do. So anyway, let's get started. So anyway, here's our glass. We're going to clean this off and uh, get it ready. So we've got to clean it naturally and uh, then one thing I'm going to do I want to mark the center so I know exactly where the center is sometimes when this thing is spinning real fast and you shoot for center if you're like a half inch off you've made something two three times bigger than you intended so I figure put a mark on there before I cover it vinyl and these are 18 inches so nine would be half double check make sure that goes yes that is fine so that's good enough for center close enough for rock and roll now I'm going to go grab a piece of vinyl and uh, then I'll be right back. Okay, here's our vinyl. We're going to stick that down. The, another thing I don't like about fans running in the shop is when you're trying to lay down these thin layers of vinyl, the wind blows it and it becomes a real nuisance. Okay, let's try that again. Throw that away. Now, make sure I got the big bubbles out of it. And take that blade and trim it up. This is going to protect from scratching because we're going to lay the face of it down on this wood panel here. This wood turntable, come on. So that's really the only reason we're putting the vinyl on there, is just to keep me from scratching it up. Look at here, I wasn't done. Let's try that again. Okay. 
down, bro. Throw that away. Now I'm about to get a screwdriver. Okay. Now. Get ourselves centered in that drawn line as much as possible. Okay, I think that's it. Now. Just a reminder, this is like a, a little aluminum sleeve with a, 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 a rubber hose, clear rubber hose slipped over it and then naturally the screw does the anchor. So, anyway. I think I only need four on this thing. I'm going to do the same thing over here. on that hose material. Yep. Okay, we finally caught. Okay, so that is mounted, presumably. If it flies off, we might say it wasn't really mounted. ready to take to the wheel. Okay, there we go. Set this right down on there. We got our wood and our cardboard in place. So we're ready to spin. Let me go get my paints we'll be ready to go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I've got a little red and I'm going to, and I just want to punctuate it with the red and I've got a feeling it's going to be real easy to do too much or real easy to be going too fast. I just don't know how to control this uh, without, you, you know, like doing one and then throwing it away and then doing it right like to try to get it right the first time, although that's rare. But to tell you the truth, with glass art, where you're sculpting, carving, you, you really got to get it right the first time. I mean, there's just no uh, sort of getting it right. You just It's too expensive to do over and over until you get it right. Sometimes you can do cheap little throwaway tests and things like that, but uh, you know, with most art, it's very spontaneous as you draw or paint. Glass is a little different. The spontaneity in glass art comes as you're designing, as you're drawing what you want to create in glass. That's where the spontaneity takes place, with a few exceptions. But once you start executing, it's all very precise and very calculated. So anyway, let's crank this up and see what happens. I'm going to start at a slower speed, so I'm going to let it crank up and then turn it off. That steel flywheel will keep it turning for a while. Oh, let's try that. Okay, let's look at that and see what happens. Still haven't made anything to slow this down. Well, faster, I think.
Now what we're going to do is get some white. We'll let this dry for just a few minutes and then we'll throw some white on top of it and we'll do a lot more spiraling and then we're going to paint that black on the back. See how that looks. Okay, here we've got our white paint and uh, it's just like we did last time but you know what? I can tell I need to stir that up some more. Let me Take this can some more. Nothing worse than having your paint not dry properly because it's unmixed. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks better. All right. So, gotten this scoop of paint, and uh, now let's turn it on. <laughs> down, take a look at it, see if we think we need to speed it up. But I sure don't want to get wood chips on this. More paint. You know, I might could do it this way, now that we're not dealing with the rectangle. No, it's going to make a mess. I really, I thought about building a brake onto this because sometimes when I'm grinding, I'm changing the wheels fairly quickly, you know, when I'm doing little things. And, uh, boy, you can't tell what you have until it stops. Oh, well, that looks pretty interesting. like this and then we're going to paint black on the back and we'll see what we got. Okay, time to uh, take this off and change out for another piece of glass. As promised, I'm getting sweatier. Yep, it happens. Now we're going to just take two of these screws off since we're putting the same tape right back in place. And I've got to pick it up without touching the paint, put it somewhere. Uh, so now 
I will clean this one off. When it gets as hot as it gets out here, this glue, which is never a problem on these little bump-ons, these little buttons, boy, once it gets hot enough, they just turn into gum. And it's real hassle. I'm going to do something. Some people don't know this. You can clean glass with steel wool. I've seen some say, oh man, won't that scratch it? Well, yeah, it can. What you want is to use 4 ox steel wool, the finer stuff, and not rust it. If it's got rust on it, mm -mm, that's not good. So anyway, you see a glass cleaner is a lubricant. And then take my little steel wool here, and you can really lean into it. As long as it's not rusty. If it's got rust on it, throw it away. Do not use it on your glass. Okay, I hope oh, there's another one right here. Okay, that got it. Let me make my center mark. Bear with me while I go get another piece of uh, vinyl. I'm back. Get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. And we're going to lay a piece of vinyl down again. Same as last time. The fan blowing everything everywhere. When I turn the fans off, I start dripping on my work. I'm sorry, I know that's gross. It's not a pretty image. But when I'm working with paper and drawings and, and doing rubbings and things outside, oh, the, then the sweat just destroys you. I mean, as far as being productive goes. Throw that away. Alrighty. bubbles because I don't want to make it stand up off of this. There we go. Throw that away. Okay. 
Oh. Here we go. Same thing again. I'm going to put some pressure on this. And I'm not putting it back in the same screw hole. There's no guarantee that these pieces of glass are the exact same dimension. So I don't want it to be loose because this one turned out to be a little smaller in diameter. ready to go. So let's carry this over to the wheel. Did you see how I edited that so it looked like I did that all in one move? Yeah, it's called deception. We are deceiving you 90% of the time, all those guys who make videos. That never happened. Anyway, we're ready to go. I'm going to go get my red paint. Okay, I'm going to let this spin just a little faster on the red part. Turn it on and let it go even a little faster. Okay, it's hot. It's hot. I'm sweating. It's terrible. And I've got a fire raging over here. So, you know, I thought it's not hot enough. So I'm burning some dead branches. And I'm sure that's not helping. But probably not hurting, really. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to get some black and uh, do the uh, what? spiral stringies and black. So, I'll okay. right back. so here we are. We've got the black and uh, we're going to crank this up. So let me go ahead and get some in the scoop here. <laughs> Doing this painting 
I really do need to put a break on this thing. It's saving me a lot of time. With the other, then it's a change it as often. But you can see we're starting and stopping pretty quickly with this process. Slow down. Look at it. That's it. That stage is done. So we're going to take this off the wheel, let it dry, and then we'll uh, put the uh, solid black and the solid white on our two discs. Okay. So here they sit. We've got uh, black paint spiral, and we've got the, the white paint spiral. So let's just see how these look. Alrighty, we're fixing to put the uh, the back paint on uh, these two pieces of glass. Now, one thing that I forgot to do last time, as I was debating on whether to share. You know, my little secret, which isn't really a secret. The, the paint I was using, uh, I love Krylon. Krylon makes a lot of stuff. And Krylon also makes uh, this uh, uh, acrylic enamel in a spray can, which works pretty good. You know, you still have to test everything, make sure that, you know, it's sticking to your glass the way you want it to. It is a bit of a problem painting on glass but anyway that's what I'm using to shoot the backs of these and uh, give it a try see what you think so let's go ahead now this is part of a can so we're probably going to use it up and then I'll switch to the backup can here but because this is round I've got it on a little turntable and so okay I gotta turn the fan off as I mentioned earlier it's about a hundred degrees in here and uh, I wanted to leave the fans on, but it's just not worth it. It's just too difficult to paint with those fans running. get the whole thing done and with this oh boy we'll have to look at the front to see if we've got everything if it's a little translucent we'll have to put another coat on but we're gonna let that dry for a little bit before we uh, do that before we look at it so anyway be back soon okay well here we are with the white paint same brand, same kind of paint. And, uh, man, I got a mosquito bite. It is eating my lunch. So anyway, we're going to put white on the back of this one to contrast the black. And I haven't done that before, so I have no idea what it'll look like, but I thought it would be fun to do uh, a yin and a yang, a black and a white. Reverse the colors and just see what the impact is. Okay, here we go. It's 
a little easier to see the translucence of the white. Definitely need to go over it again. We did not get full coverage at all. Ah. Okay, we'll let that dry and then take a look at it and see if we need to add more to it. Okay, here we are. Our paint is dry and we're going to peel the vinyl off the front and take a look and see what we wound up with. looking pretty cool. Okay. There we go. Let's see if we can get a better look at that. That's pretty wild looking. I like it. Yeah. I like the way that it's heavier over here than it is over here. So I guess that had to do with how much I was dispensing out of the spoon. But the asymmetry I like. And uh, so anyway, a little, little splashes of red. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's look at the other one. Okay. Just drag the camera over here. Here we go. Oh. Except for the red, this is complete opposite of the other one. There we go. Okay, so here we are. That's very different, isn't it? Just changing the black and the white, switching places, makes for a very different... Let me get rid of this X here. Well, it's not going to come clean with my finger. I'm going to have to use the glass cleaner. But anyway, these are our two very different now. We've got to mount our support panels to the back so we can hang these on a wall being that they're glass they have a little bit of weight to it not extremely heavy of course every picture frame that you hang on a wall has a piece of glass in it about half this thick and uh, then the frame and all that adds about the same weight so it's not an unusual it's not unusually heavy for something you would hang on a wall but it has a little bit of weight and you need to take that seriously when you're strategizing hanging something like this well, anyway, I made these two for my friend in the glass biz, whose name I will not mention. And uh, I'm going to send these to him, and I hope he likes them. Anyway, I like them. So there. Well, I attached the quarter-inch plywood pieces to the back of the glass and hung them on the wall to see what they'd look like. Pretty neat. I could see myself doing dozens of these just to see uh, the different patterns that I could get. And of course for each pattern you'd come up with uh, different color combinations and palettes to work with. Unfortunately the cost of circular glass with uh, polished edges is too great to just dive in and explore all of the possibilities. So we have to perform just a few experiments and then plan carefully around what we learn. It's still a lot of fun. Well, I hope you got something out of this exercise. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, great, okay, uh, you know, you should probably subscribe. Yeah, that would be the right thing to do, huh? Okay, so do it. Oh, 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 and ring the bell. Ring the bell, would you? It's easy. Yeah, okay, goodbye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.
working. <laughs>